Hey guys, this is Justin from thecarflip.com and we're doing an ask me anything question right now. And this question is from Gene and I think it's a, it's a really important question. It's a question I get asked a lot and I'm really glad to answer it here where I can have an answer that's, um, I guess that's here to stay on YouTube or anyone can come across it. But his question is, how do I find good deals on Craigslist? Um, and there's a little more background to his question. Um, but basically he's been for the last year interested in flipping. He's looked for deals. He's not been able to find the deals that he wants. Um, things are too expensive. It looks like the prices people are asking, um, if he was to buy it at that, then he wouldn't be able to resell it for much more. Like basically there's not a margin there for him to make profit. He's considered auctions, but I guess the auctions that he's seen, the prices seem high there as well. And so he's kind of struggling with what to do. Basically, there's uh, there doesn't seem to be the margin there for the profit. Like everything sounds good and great, but he can't find the deals. And Gene, this is something that is not unique to you. This is something, um, this is a very common thing for people that are beginning to flip um, that they struggle with because this is where all the money's made. Like if it was if it was easy, if it was this easy, absolutely everybody would be doing it. But the skill part of it comes, and I'm gonna actually move my shade here because the sun is coming in. We're gonna stop right here. Um, the skill part of it actually comes in to the buy itself. Um, everybody you know, I, I would imagine everybody that you, that you know that has a driver's license has probably sold a car at some point. I mean, literally, think about your grandma, your great aunt Peggy, um, you know, your friend that, have, that knows nothing about cars. They've all sold cars. So if selling isn't the difficult part, then what is? And obviously it's the buy. The buy is where all the money is made when it comes to flipping. That is the most important part. Like end of story, period, done, the buy. If you don't know how to buy properly, you're not gonna make money flipping. You might get lucky every now and then. Like, I, you know, we all know somebody that bought a car and sold it and made money and they thought they were like, you know, the biggest, baddest thing ever, but they just got lucky, right? Like, um, what do they say? A blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then or, you know, a broken clock is right twice a day. So everyone's gonna get lucky every now and then, but you don't wanna just do one every now and then. You wanna consistently make money over and over and over again. That That's the game of car flipping. It's consistently doing the same thing over and over and over again. So when we buy a car, I'm obviously, I have one hand with my camera here, so I've only got, you know, one hand free. Um, our profit, uh, let's say what we what we buy is down here where my thumb is, and the sale is up here where my middle finger is. That middle section, that's our profit margin. That's the profit. That's where the money's to be made, is in between the buy and the sell. So obviously we wanna buy as low as possible and we wanna sell as high as possible. And there are certain cars that do well um, at creating that margin. Um, and a lot of times those cars are maybe something that needs a little work. Maybe it needs a little this, a little that, or maybe it's a car that someone doesn't understand the value of. A lot of times I'll buy a car from someone that it was a one owner car and they just want to get rid of it. They don't understand the value. They paid $30,000 12 years ago and to them it's just sitting in their driveway. They just want it gone and they ask $2,500. I come in and offer 17 and get it and then sell it for four. So they didn't understand the value. I did and I got to make the money because I understood the value. Um, that's a lot of what car flipping is, is understanding value. I mean, think about right now, I'm on my way into my office. It's a Saturday morning and I'm gonna pass several gas stations along the way. I think gas around here, and there's not one in front of me right now, but I think 207, 211, somewhere in there is what gas is going here, is going for North Carolina right now. And so there's several gas stations that I'm gonna ride by. Right now I'm on just over a quarter of a tank, so I really don't need gas. But if I pass the gas station and it was $1.49, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna like turn around, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a U-turn, I'm gonna like jump the median to get to that gas station because I need gas. Um, yeah, I'm actually passing one right now, it's 2.09. Um, so the same thing is true if I pass a gas station and it's 3.07. If I'm at a quarter of a tank, I'm probably gonna wait until tomorrow, until I pass that other gas station where it's 2.09. I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy the gas that's overpriced. Same is true with cars. I'm gonna turn my heat off because it's actually getting kind of warm in here. Um, I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy a car that is overpriced. I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy a car that is priced at the market. I don't wanna buy a car that is worth what they're asking for. I need to buy under what it's worth so I can make the profit and sell it for what it's worth. So you've got to be able to understand that margin and that just comes with time. The more you scan Craigslist, and you wanna scan specifically, um, depending on the price range, if you're looking to buy cars under $5,000, only look at cars 7,000 and below. And so that being said, you know, if you want to spend five, I would be looking at cars at 7,000 because maybe you could talk them down to five. Um, so you want to be looking at cars in 
the space that you want to be. Don't worry about the $10,000 car or the thirteen dollars or the $50,000 car. You only need to be looking at cars that you're going to be potentially flipping. Um, other than that, it's just going to take time. You're going to learn. Uh, just like you know gas prices, just like you probably know the price for your favorite cereal or whatever that hobby is maybe that you have that you know. Like if you're a hunter, you know what those that, what that equipment costs. If you uh, play basketball like I do, you know roughly what a pair of Jordans cost or you know a pair of KDs or, or whatever. You know roughly what they cost. And so you're going to learn those patterns and that's where the money is to be made. When you recognize the patterns, you can create the margin on your flips and that's where the money is to be made. I would focus in on individual sales. I would be on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, that kind of thing. If you're starting out, I would stay away from auctions because auctions um, are tricky. In a lot of the public auctions, you can't drive the cars before. A lot of public auctions, you can't even start the cars before. So you have no idea if it has a blown head gasket. You have no idea if the transmission's any good or what other problems um, exist in that car. So I would stay away from those from the get-go. But I think if you would focus in on the certain price range that you're wanting to be in, learn the patterns and be patient. Um, I, I really think you could do it, Gene. Um, one other quick tip that I do, um, a lot of folks see the deals and you know they they call on three and people say no, 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 and they're getting you know no's as they call and it gets kind of, um, I don't know, it gets kind of tiring to go through that same conversation over and over again. What I do is actually text a lot. Um, I'll text offers, I'll text 10 offers maybe every time I scan Craigslist, you know, I'm just scanning, 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 and I'm offering what I would have to pay for that car for it to be worth what I'm, you know, gonna sell it for. So if someone's asking three, I think I can sell it for 35, I'm offering 15. Um, I'm trying to create that $2,000 margin. So go through Craigslist, scan, send a text like this. This is my money text. This works uh, better than anything I've used. If you find something better, let me know, because I'm definitely up for that. But I'm just telling you what's worked for me. I'll send a text, and let's say we're looking at a 2005 Chevy Trailblazer. I'm gonna say, you know, I, I'm gonna have cash. I, if, if I'm gonna buy something, I'm gonna have cash that day. I don't have to go to the bank. I'm ready to roll. I'm gonna say, could you take? Or, or I think actually the way I word it is, any way you could take. Let's say they're asking 35. Any way you could take. What would I? I probably offer 18. Any way you could take $1,800 cash today for the Trailblazer? Question mark. Send. They're gonna get it. They're gonna say yes or no. Ten people might say no, but all you need is the one yes to create that $2,000 profit. If you do that enough times, I guarantee you you're going to find a deal. And I think you'll start to learn the patterns along the way. Um, that's how I learned, and I think it'll be the same for you. But Gene, if you have any questions, any follow-ups to this, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you any way I can. Have a good one.